forks on the left side of the plate. For kids on their best behavior, that can be a lot to remember. So today, the do's and don'ts of dining etiquette. Okay, everybody. Welcome to the manners class, and it's called Manners on the Menu today. What are manners anyway? Like when you want to get something and you want it, like it's so far away and someone can pass it to you, and then you say, can you pass it to me please, and then they do it. And please is one of the magic words. What's some of the other magic words that we use? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think is the general level of manners in children before they meet you? Well, many parents say that their children manners can't be criticized because they have none. I think in social situations, the problem is that they haven't been shown how to do things. And very often as a parent, that's the mistake you make. You wait until you're in a situation with your child and start correcting them. Rather than telling them right from the beginning what behavior is expected. Parents are very busy today. They're working. They've focused on their children's special interests, a hockey or gymnastics or ballet, and it's get in the car, have you got your stuff, and we'll pick up something on the way, and don't spill that pop in the back of the van, and it's rush, 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 rush. So when you come to the table, you're clean, you're neat, you sit quietly, and that's why I had you straighten out your place, and you wait for everybody to sit down before you start. Once right? kids know the proper etiquette, do you, do you find that they're amenable to it? I found that they are very amenable to learning about manners. It gives them a sense of power and they feel, uh, they feel empowered in social situations and when they know how to behave, they tend to behave. Okay, everybody turn to page one of your book and let's have a look at at your place setting, all the forks and knives that you're going to have to use. Here's a question for you. What side does the fork go on? Left side. Left side. He's got that right. Say a kid has learned everything about etiquette and they still misbehave. What can a parent do in that situation to correct his behavior? If so, you should establish a signal with your child. Now maybe it's just going to be a look. Or maybe it's just going to be a, a touching on his hand that will remind him about the behaviors that are expected. <laughs> but I think you have to take a positive approach to it. You can't be correcting and nagging all the time. We as adults hate that. And children don't care for that as well. I want you to make it look just like the picture. I don't know how to do this. Did I get this right? I don't know where the third fork is. Oh, thank you. Okay. I'll reach the napkin for you, okay? No, it's supposed to be a big fork at the top, a big fork here, and a small fork there. Oh, okay, okay. I got the wrong fork. <laughs> I've never seen so many forks on one, on one play setting in my life. I think you got it right, except your knife. Your knife? Yeah. When we see all these pieces of cutlery on the table, we always work from the outside in. So, while we're chewing, what's a good rule to remember about chewing? Don't talk with your mouth full. And you keep your mouth closed while you're chewing. Can any child, can even the worst behaved child learn etiquette? Absolutely. We have to think positively. Yeah. It's uh, encouraging civility one child at a time. Ecotopia. Think of utopia.